said it a million times. We're going to have to keep saying it, man. There's truly a war on pretty. Hashtag war on pretty. Or also, as I like to say, there's a war going on outside that no pretty girl is safe from. The beautiful Masika Kalisha, someone who inspires me every single day of the year, posted some very beautiful pictures where she's wearing a blue hat with a red brim and a green shirt and black pants. But hey, it actually works. And she said, first of all, she posted the pictures on Instagram. She blessed her Instagram followers. And then she said, it was rude of me to not give this to Twitter. I'm sorry. So some heifer named I'm me. So or never compare underscore me said, you get lighter and lighter, boo. So Masika Kalisha, the clapback queen, says you get dumber and dumber, boo. So then the heifer who said that posted some shocked face emojis. Like, like what, what did you expect for her to say? So then Masika goes on to say, now for the record, somebody left a comment or whatever, but the tweet was unavailable. So I don't even know what this person said, but their name is Stupid Bad 20, but they spell stupid with O's as opposed to you. That's a stupid way to spell the word. But Masika said, yeah, I bleached that morning. It was a special 24 hour bleaching. At midnight, my carriage turns into a pumpkin. And by the morning, I return. <laughs> I return to my natural shade of Akon Black. <laughs> Excuse me. Gosh, I'm so dark. You can't even see me at night if my eyes are closed. Grabs Clorox. It's so disgusting how black women have such skin color issues. How you hate your own race. All the beautiful shades of black skin. Y'all want me to dye my skin pitch black so bad. Some of y'all need therapy. And shout out to Ray to Renee, a.k.a. Milk and Honey. That's my Dominican mommy. She said, I know when I was younger, I self-esteem issues. Pause. I think what she meant to say was I had self-esteem issues. So I'm going to go ahead and re reread it. I think the way that she meant to say it. I know when I was younger, I had self-esteem issues. Thank God I grew out of it. Now I strive every day making sure my two daughters know to never allow anyone to make her feel ashamed of their skin now some dude named chris said oh i would have said e40 voice <laughs> so i guess he was talking to masiga so then ray to renee my dominican mommy comes back and says every day i remind my girls how beautiful they are and she posted a picture of her daughters which i'm not going to post here on youtube she said i wish black women would feel comfortable enough to leave their beautiful skin alone I will never understand why do black women have such strong hatred for each other. It's heartbreaking. It's like when black go to tear each other down. They're always trying. I guess you would say they're always trying to destroy each other. But she said they'll always try to destroy each. It is so devastatingly depressing. So when Masika Kalisha has said it's so disgusting how black women have such skin color issues, how you hate your own race, all the beautiful shades of black skin. Y'all want me to dye my skin pitch black so bad. Some of y'all need therapy. She retweeted. I, I guess somebody named the one or industrious lady retweeted that comment and then she retweeted their reply to the comment. The person said this crap be so bad. They project their insecurities on another B like get mad at your mother. How? With some laughing, crying emojis, forehead slapping emoji, and a crying emoji. So, ooh, what do y'all what do think about what's being said? I got one more thing to read to y'all. When Ray to Renee said, I wish black women would feel comfortable enough to leave their beautiful skin alone. Uh, I almost called Masika Alicia Keys. I don't know what that was about. I, I Alicia Keys stays on my mind. But anyways, she's hosting the Grammys for a second year in a row. Give it up to my baby Alicia Keys. She played two pianos at the same time last year. A anyways, uh, enough about Alicia Keys. Uh, Masika says light skinned women uh, light skinned women look at God light skinned women being accused of bleaching by other black women who have issues with their own kin I guess you meant to say skin color is the issue once again light skinned women being accused of bleaching by other black women who have issues with their own skin color is the issue I've been accused of bleaching by bitter black women since I started on reality TV in 2014 all this quote bleach I should be clear by now. It's sick. Facts, Masika. You have melanin. When you're in the sun, you look darker. When you're out of the sun, you you lighten up like a lot of black folks do. Black, mixed, whatever. This is hashtag war on pretty. Somebody named Mr. Lopez said, I've been wanting to ask that, but it's none of my <laughs> Kermit Defrogger, it's none of my business. <laughs> but why does light skin get so much hate? Masika Kalisha says, honey. 
I've been trying to figure that out since I was a kid. This is why I'm out here fighting the hashtag war on pretty. Do you see why me and Masika should be allies? Do you see why we should be working together, y'all? I'm literally fighting for women like Masika and Masika don't F with me. I'm advocating for and I'm promoting women who look like Masika Kalisha as a standard of beauty and booty. And she does not F with me. And I love her. Like, like if I ever met Masika in person, I'll be like, look. First of all, I'll, I'll be like, look, I, I need to talk to you for a second. And she'll be like, um, who are you, bum? And I'll be like, uh, uh, uh <laughs> My name is Me Magazine, a.k.a. Me Maga Daddy with that mean three and a half inches that the ladies just can't seem to get enough of. I'm a blogger and a jogger. And then she would say, well, watch me run. And I'll grab her by the shoulder and say, hey, heifer, come back. Let me explain. And she'll be like, get your hands off me, you filthy pig. And I'll be like, listen, Masika, let, let, let me just talk to you for a hot minute. Mrs. Cheeks. Um... <laughs> A bad bit like you blocked me on Twitter years ago. I still don't know why. I, you must have heard something wrong that I said. Because I never said anything negative about you. Well, other other than you need to get over Fetty Wap and worry about me. But other than that, I never said anything bad about you. So I don't know what the hell your problem is, sweetie. But I love you. And then I would get down on one knee and give her this ring. No, nah, I'm just kidding. But I, I would let her know. You know, like, listen, you're special. I, I don't know what. I don't. I. 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 I it's nothing but love coming from over here. So you need to unblock me on the Twitters. She say, I'm not unblocking nothing. No, she was talking like Cardi. She'd be like, I ain't unblocking nothing. No, let me stop. No, but seriously, y'all. Can y'all seriously go to Masika's Twitter and at Masika Kalisha and say, please unblock at Me Magazine. It's 2020. It's a whole new decade. Whatever beef she had with me for one hot second in the past, she need to leave it in the past. She need to forgive my. She needs to just forgive me, because we need. I'm not saying we need to be friends. I'm not saying she needs to be friend a quote unquote blogger, which I'm really a commentator. I'm not really a blogger, but I'm one of the quote unquote so called bloggers that's in her corner. I know that she doesn't really effort the bloggers like that. You know, because bloggers say a lot of like shady and ridiculous stuff. I mean, you gotta think about it. It's only really. A couple of bloggers that are really like cool, you know, there's this uh, there, really there's like three bloggers that I can name off the top of my head that are like nice people. Nicole G formerly. Uh, oh, now she goes by XO Nicole. That's right. So XO Nicole, Jasmine Brand. Oh, there's four of them. XO Nicole, Jasmine Brand from the Jasmine Brand. Yes, Live Can from T Tenders. And Me Maga Daddy from Me Magazine. Other than the four of us, for the most part, bloggers are, 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 can be mean. I'm not saying that every other blogger is mean. It's just I can't name any other nice blogger, celebrity commentator people. I, I can't name any. Even though, uh, oh, for the record, the Jasmine Brand is a celebrity news site owner. She is not a blogger. Jasmine Brand does not identify as a blogger. Exo Nicole, excuse me, if you don't identify as a blogger, I don't know whether you do or not. Yes, Liv Can, my favorite blogger. No offense to you if you don't identify as a blogger. Everybody else identifies you as one. And no no offense to the beautiful Yes, Liv Can. Now, and I know what y'all are thinking. Me, you're just saying you're just saying that like Jasmine Brand, Exo Nicole, and and Liv are fine as hell. You're just gonna name all the dimes. Like, it's, well, listen. <laughs> when I said I was on hashtag Team Pretty, I meant that. Okay, listen. <laughs> uh, but speaking of Team Pretty, Masika needs to unblock me. I still don't even know what I did. I think I figured it out. I think I know what video it was. I just can't remember the name of the video, the title of the video, but I made a video about her and it was a joke that I told in the video. And when I replayed the video, I said, does she think that I'm saying something bad about her? Because like the, the way that I worded something in this particular video, because I remember it was that video that I posted right before she blocked me and shocked me. Cause I'm so team pretty. Like whenever a pretty girl blocks me, I'm like, what? What did I do? Like I, I'm, I'm th <laughs> like I'm the mascot. Like you can't block the mascot. How am I supposed to act the fool on the court while y'all doing your thing? Like when y'all win in the game, how am I supposed? To you know what I mean? Like I, I'm over here sweating in this furry suit. You should be handing me a bottle of water instead of trying to block me. Let me go ahead and do the mascot dance. You know. But anyways, man. Sega is way too damn fine to be hated on. One of the hottest chicks out here. Very, very beautiful lady. And I, I just, I, you know, I don't think that she bleaches her skin. And even if she did, it'd be none of my damn business. I just like looking at her.
I personally think that she lightens up when she's not been in the sun. You know, she's been busy. She's been working her behind off. You think she has time to go tan at the beach? She's naturally a light brown complexion like Megan Good. And I'm trying to think there's somebody else who has that type of complexion. Kiri Hilson. It's not that they're light skin. They're like light brown skin or dark light skin. You know what I mean? Like they're <laughs> they're like that type of complexion where light skin and brown skin start to meet. Just like how some people are somewhere between brown and dark where it starts to cross that line over into the dark side. Like like Portia. Portia is a perfect example of a woman who is right there on the cusp of the dark side she's right there with brown and dark skin if she was any darker she'd be dark skin if she was any lighter she would still be brown skin so we call her brown skin uh, you know uh, black people in their complexions listen we shouldn't even be having discussions like this if anything what people should have said to Masika was damn you're looking beautiful as always Masika or they should have said dang Masika where you at that looks like a ritzy place that that, lo that looks like a place that broke people like me can't come and I, and I, and I know I know that and I know it's a place where you got to have some money because people were wearing suits you gotta wear that's what i'm trying to tell you that's a sign if you go somewhere where people have to wear a suit to work you know it's the real deal you know what i mean people should have been saying things like masika where you get that hat from i forgot the brother's name who makes those hats rashida from loving hip-hop atlanta some other people wear those hats too but and they make them in different colors but uh you know people should have said things like masika that outfit is is very unique or where you get that outfit from sis it looks amazing i want to get me one too i'm trying to get like you right now or they should have asked who the lady was wearing yellow with the long dark hair sitting next to Masika. Like that would be a normal person question. But to sit up there and insult Masika by saying that she just gets lighter and lighter. You could have saved that. I mean, why heff so hard? Like if you're going to heff, don't heff so hard. As a matter of fact, move it on the heff. Not move it on the left. Move the heff on the left. Okay. To the left, to the left, like Beyonce said. Get that heffin' out of here, man. Like, like, why, why can't we just celebrate beautiful women and love them and show them some respect and admiration? Why do we always have to, like, say something negative to beautiful women? I don't understand it. That's why I'm hashtag T Pretty. That's why I promote the end of the hashtag War I'm Pretty. That's why I'm promoting the fact that there is something going on in this planet where beautiful women are not given a fair chance. They're constantly... And it's, it's it's something beyond disrespect. What it is is people hating it. it, it honestly, it, it's jealousy. People are jealous of them. Dudes are jealous because they can't be with her. You know, you got women jealous because jealous they can't be her. It's hard to be the it girl. Masika's been the it girl for well over 15 years now. She was doing music videos and stuff. And I think she was a Hooters girl. I saw a picture, picture of her with a Hooters outfit on. Masika's been winning. She's been sought after. She's been the woman that they wanted to put on the on the magazines the magazine covers inside the magazines you know uh on the box of the hair care products Have you did you ever see that yes masika was on hair care <laughs> product boxes she's been the box girl the magazine girl the video girl the reality tv girl and now she's an entrepreneur and named the business after her daughter and y'all wish you could get like her masika for president I got to go, y'all. I love Masika. I hate the fact that the war on pretty once again came for you. It's not fair. I'm out here trying to fight it. And hey, even if Masika never unblocks me, I'll never stop being a fan because I love Masika. Got to go, y'all. For those that listen to the last part of this video, and uh, that's probably like two people, right? The secret password to say in the comment section is Masika Jackson. Because I got a light skin friend that looks like Masika. I got a dark skin friend that looks like Masika. That's a Kanye West reference. When he said, I got a light skin friend that looks like Michael Jackson. I had a dark skin friend that looks like Michael Jackson in the Slow Jams song with Twista. I'll post a link to that video in the comments in the description box. Make sure you say Me Magazine sent me if you never heard that song before or if you just haven't heard it in a while. But Masika Jackson is the password to say in the comment section. That'll let me know you listen all the way to the end. And I'm not trying to make fun of Masika. So don't anybody go running and telling me me magazine's trying to be funny. I didn't I don't mean it like that. I'm just let me have my fun, man. Let me let me do what I gotta do over here. I know what I'm doing. Anyways, shout out to Masika and Hey y'all, let's keep fighting this hashtag war on pretty. Is this hashtag war on pretty or not? Do you think that these people are wrong for saying what they're saying to Masika? Do you think that they're right? Do you think they should be allowed to say that? I believe in freedom of speech, but I don't believe in freedom of stupidity. And some of the things that people say just goes way too far. But anyways, let me know what y'all think about it below. Click the subscribe button right now for more Meat Magazine. Click the notification bell, all notifications. Click the thumbs up button on this video. 
Post a comment below the video in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe to all the Meat Magazine channels for more videos. The links to my other channels are in the description box.